Hey, Brigham with Drift here. Today we're talking about the LibTech Steely D. When I saw this thing announced, uh, 167, 26.7 waist width, nice long powder nose with some greedy shaping, I just knew I had to try this thing out. So excited to tell you about it. Before I get into it, check out my specs and my biases in the description below so you know where I'm coming from. And here we go. The first thing I would share, this isn't a surprise if you've ridden a LibTech before, this rides like a LibTech. Um, which to me is in a lot of ways how it feels, kind of middle of the road. Uh, it rides pretty damp, it's got good float because of this shape, but their camber profile also allows it to, to carve really well. It doesn't feel super aggressive, um, but it's also not not loose and wimpy either. Uh, it's just kind of got that all around LibTech feel, which I think as far as the, how the board feels, um, I think is good, uh, depending on the board and what you're interested in. There's some other things that I'll talk about in a minute that are, that are not my favorite. But yeah, just middle of the road flex, very capable all around. You can ride it hard, but it's not super aggressive. Um, it's just got that good lip tech feel. So the second thing I would share, this only comes in one size and it's a 167. And I'm sure for a lot of people, that sounds huge. And it is big. I mean, you already know if you've watched my videos, I'm a bigger guy. I like to ride bigger boards. For me, I would say this doesn't ride that big. Uh, contact length is 118, uh, which is not crazy short, but it's not insane either. A lot of what you have here is nose, so it's not very hard to swing around. Uh, it's pretty easy to turn. I think if you wanted something more all mountain, then this wouldn't be the shape for you. But if you want something with a lot of float, but that then you can rip a carve on, um, and your feet are big enough for the waist width, I wouldn't be too worried about this length, you know, as long as it's within reason for your body size. So third thing I'd share is that, you know, I think that this is really just a powder board that you can spend the rest of the day at the resort riding on and enjoying, uh, hitting the crud, hitting the groomers in between. It's got great float, as you would guess from this shape, but the camber profile, the edge tech, um, you can charge pretty hard on this through rough snow and um, also rip a carve on a groomer, as I've mentioned. I was out um, hitting mostly POW on uh, a couple different boards, and I, I rode one line in particular that the, the grooming machine had been through and kind of created some, some death chunder in between the POW and the groomers, and I remember kind of bombing into that section on a spring break powder racer, which I was really enjoying as a pow board and it's much softer and looser. And I legit thought I was gonna die through that nasty stuff. And then I grabbed this intentionally, same thing, bombed straight through that death chunder and onto the groomer and just felt so much more confidence with this, but it still floats really well. I've used it multiple times in the back country. It's right up there with some of the best POW boards. Um, unless you go with you know, full reverse camber, and maybe if you get rid of the tail and do a swallow tail or just a no tail, um, I think that's probably the only way you're really gonna get much, much more float than something like this. Um, so for that versatility, it's really nice. Uh, the last two things I would share are Less positive, uh, the fourth item is the 3D shaping in the nose. It It is there. I don't know if you can really see it, but I, you know, we've seen more and more 3D shaping from brands, and I'm, I'm a fan. I really like it. You know that. I like Battalion. I like Jones. But, and I think this is kind of just what LibTech is able to do in their factory which I think might be a little limited compared to other factories. But I just have to say, this 3D shaping, I would say is almost entirely like a token 3D so that they can say that it has 3D shaping. So I don't know how well I can explain it, but when you look at the board, basically all that's happened is 
from about here to here, they've just pinched the nose a little bit. I mean, you can see like a crease in it. It's like they, they took the nose and then they just like squeezed it a little bit. So it's got like a little bit of a V in it, which I think is kind of ugly, number one. Number two, on this board, it's not even centered on the nose. It's actually like off to the right a little bit. Um, and then it doesn't come back very far. It only comes back probably about six inches. It really doesn't get into anything that you have on the snow, basically. So I, I mean, I kind of hate to say it. Um, you compare that to like the Jones 3D that's like a full, just clean, smooth spoon shape or battalions, uh, which you may or may not like, but I, th I just think it's kind of ugly and I don't think it's really doing anything. And, and I think LibTech might just not really have a setup to really do something 3D. So that's kind of disappointing to me. I, I think it's basically pointless and kind of ugly. That brings me to the fifth thing. Um, the finish on this is right in line with uh, any other LibTech board. I have huge respect for the brand. Made in the USA, they do their own thing. Travis Rice crushes it, as does the rest of their team. I can't hate on the boards, but I just have to say the overall finish to me just does not seem like it's it's on par with what's coming out of multiple other factories out there. If you look at like something out of Capita's Mothership or boards out of GP87 or Titan, a lot of these are Asian boards, um, but generally overseas, um, they just they just don't look that nice in finish. And I won't point it too much, but, you know, they don't wrap the edges all the way. Um, the sidewalls have, like, a lot of kind of stripes and, like, discoloration in it. You know, their top sheets, which I think are really durable, kind of nice in the way that they feel. But, um, I don't know, just kind of shows a lot that isn't isn't that savory. So it's a lib tech. I mean, and you know what you're getting if if you're getting a lib tech and you probably love how those ride. And so I wouldn't discourage you. But those are just my thoughts on the Steely D. Really cool all around bigger pow board for somebody that wants a big pow board that can kind of do a little bit of everything. As long as you're not looking to do a bunch of freestyle. Um, if you're kind of a directional, do everything kind of guy that wants something that'll slay the pow and the rest of the mountain, it's a cool board for sure, and I'd recommend it. Thanks for checking out the video. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or anything I can help you with. We'll catch you next.